OpenFlow makes modifying forwarding behavior easy because forwarding decisions are based on matches on the OpenFlow 10 tuple. Layer 2 switching is simply a match on the destination MAC address, which has a corresponding action of forwarding out a particular output port. If all of the fields are specified for forwarding out a particular output port, then we have flow switching behavior. If all of the flow specifications are wildcarded except for, say, the source MAC address to make a forwarding or drop decision, then we have a firewall. Constructing a firewall is as simple as building a hash table that stores key value pairs where the table maps a switch and source MAC address to a true or false value depending on whether traffic should be forwarded or dropped. The controller might then only decide to forward traffic if the firewall entry maps to true. It is important to emphasize the performance implications of caching the decisions at the switch. So packets only reach the controller if there's no flow table entry at the switch. If, on the other hand, there is a flow table entry at the switch, then the switch can simply forward the packets rather than sending them to the controller. So when a controller decides to take an action on a packet, it installs that action as a flow table entry in the switch. And that decision or flow table entry is cached until that flow table entry expires. In summary, customizing control is easy. We've explored how to use the POX controller to develop alternate control programs. And it's possible to turn a switch into a firewall in less than 40 lines of Python code. We also explored the performance benefits of caching rules and decisions to avoid sending too much traffic to the controller. As we know, forwarding performance in the switches is fast, but whenever we have to send traffic to the controller, it slows things down. So whatever decisions we can cache in the switch will only serve to improve the performance of the network.